friends, Beth of Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by, getting close to the holiday. So it's time for a new gift card pouch. Yay! This year we are doing a very simple little mitten, but very cute. Also could be great little ornaments. They are just so cute and they're really fast. You could do 20 of these in a day. So if you're a gift card giver, there you go. But remember last year, ugly Christmas sweater. And I think my editor can put a link to that right here. I think it would go right here. And I also did an ornament. It's a cute little Christmas ornament. All of these, again, great ornaments too for your tree or for your hearth. Very cute. I also have a stocking, but I gave all those away. And let's get started. So this is a great stash buster. So you have this little tiny bit of the super fuzzy stuff. I don't even remember what this is. I've had it for so long, but it's just fuzzy, very, very Christmassy to me. It's very, very wintry. And I have a little bit of my alpaca twist. And which one is this? Lavender? No, nope, it's just called purple, which I made my cute hat. Oh, remember this guy? I love this hat. This is one of my favorite, favorite hats. I have a little bit left over to be perfect for a mitten because Evie's favorite color is purple. So we start here right at the little tiny ribbing for the wrist. So we're going to start there with some of this fuzzy, fuzzy white. And again, this goes really fast. I am using a four millimeter hook today. It's my little pink tulip. I'm going to use him. Now this, I know that this yarn was not recommended for a four, but I'm using it anyway. So we're just going to do our slip knot and chain seven. One, two, three, four, five six and seven. See how tiny this is? That's how tiny this is. Now we're going to go turn over our chain, work in these little back bumps right here. One single crochet in each of those little back bumps. So we'll end up with six single crochets back down our chain. See? Four, And there's my last one right here is number six. Row one complete. Easy peasy, right? All right, so that's the only time we're going to work in those back bumps. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work so we're ready for the second row. So row two is the very first stitch and the very last stitch will always be a regular old single crochet all the way through Boom. to keep the edges nice. But then all the other ones are going to be back loop only. So right here we're going to do a single crochet back loop only, not through the whole stitch like this. We're going to take this back loop and do a single crochet Boop. and do that down to, but not including, your last stitch in the back loop. And then here I am to my last stitch right here. Do a single crochet go under both loops, single crochet. Boom. That was row two. Done. Easy peasy. Row three through 19 are exactly the same as that. So we're going to do that one more time. Chain one. Turn our work so we're ready for row three. Single crochet through both under both loops for the first stitch. The next four are back loop only. And our very last stitch is under both loops, a regular old single crochet. We're going to do that for rows 2 through 19 and I will meet you when I am done with my row 19. All right, almost done. My last back loop only and my very last stitch in row 19 is a all under both loops single crochet. There we go. Now we have ribbing. It's stretchy. Just like a normal mitten except it's it's just it's just tiny. It's bite size. Just teeny. So now we'll row 20. We are going to chain one and then we're going to turn this sideways. Because we're going to close this little loop and make it a cuff. So we chained one. We're going to go through our first entire stitch and through the one on the other side, right here. So 
so I'm under, I'm through both sides so we can make this into a circle and slip stitch. So pull through and then just pull through. Now for the next four, the ones in the center, remember the first and the last one are always an entire stitch. This one is going to be under both loops of the first side and the back loop only of the other side. So you have one, two, three loops that you're going to be working through and that again is a slip stitch. Slip stitch, do that again under both loops on the front side and the back loop only on the back side and slip stitch all the way down to your very last stitch which is right here my last stitch will go under both loops here and both loops on this side and slip stitch there we go. It looks like a little cuff now. It's very tiny. So now we're going to chain one. So we can get ready to work around here. We're going to work around the top now to make a nice edge to start our mitten. So we want to evenly single crochet. I'm going to mark my first one. Single crochet evenly around 20. Because we just did 20 rows, there should be one for each. There's one, two, three, four, and I'll meet you at the at the very beginning. Five, eighteen, twenty-one, and right here, twenty. So now I have 20 nice stitches that are all even around the top so we can start the top of our mitten. So now I'm going to change colors. We can fasten this one off. I'm going to mark both sides here real quick so it's a little easier to see. But I'm just going to fasten this off and pull it up like this and then pull it through my first stitch so I don't have an ugly little knot that shows. I don't want to have a knot if I can avoid it. So when you pull this in, stitch, stitch. That shouldn't show very much. So there we go. Alrighty, now we are on to the mitten part. So obviously that is going to be this. Remember I'm using my Yarn B Alpaca Twist. Evie's favorite color is purple. I had some remnant, so we're going with purple. So we just fasten on our purple back here again where we were our very first stitch marker here this is stitch one and this is stitch 20 just so we can keep track and I'm just going to fasten this on and do a single crochet and now I'm going to do an increase in the next one so that means two single crochets in the next stitch. Just like that. And repeat that sequence. One single crochet and in the next stitch there are two single crochets. We are increasing from 20 up to 30. So we're going to single crochet in that stitch and two single crochets in this stitch. And we're going to do that all the way around back to our other marker. And there's my last set. There is a single crochet and then in my last stitch here that's marked in orange is my increase. So there's two single crochets in that stitch which equals a total of 30 stitches now. So we just made this a little bit bigger so it can start going like this. Alright so row two. Now I can take this guy out don't need him anymore. And remember we just get to pull that nice and tight. Alrighty and round two we're going to go into our first purple stitch here without doing any kind of a chain one or anything. We're just going to single crochet so we're working kind of in a spiral here instead of doing a slip stitch and a chain one to start a new round we're going to just go like a spiral. So there's our first one Round two of the mitten is really easy. One single crochet in each stitch 
for a total of 30 all the way around and I'll meet you back at my marker. There's number 29 and number 30. So there's our second round. I'm going to tuck that through. We don't need to look at him right now. So there's our second round of our mitten right about, let's see this one, right about in here. Right there, the first two, two rounds. Alright, now we are going to make our thumb right here. Thumb is not later. I'm not going to make a hole and come back and go around and around and around. We're going to make our, our thumb right now. So what we want to do is in our mark stitch, single crochet, and then remark that stitch like this. All right, so there's our first. We want to make four. So that was single crochet number one, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to chain one and turn our work. So we're going to just be working on the thumb right now and do that again. One single crochet, two, three, and four in our mark stitch. There we go. And there's row two. We want to do that for 15 rows. So chain one, turn our work, and here is row three. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, turn your work and do that until you have 15 round or 15 rows and I will be right back. I will meet you as soon as I'm done with mine. Yay, now is my last row, 15. Chain one, turn my work. One, two, three, and four. There is my 15. So now you can see we have this little flap right here. This will become the thumb. So now we're just going to fold that down in our next stitch right here that hasn't been worked. We're going to do a single crochet. And I find it very helpful to mark that stitch. So we're going to mark and do 26 single crochets around. So that was number one. Do 26. There's three, four, there's 24, 25, and 26. Can get rid of him. Don't need that one right now. But we need 30. So we are going to work into the four that we made here. So on the inside here, we're going to go and find our four stitches, which was row 15 of our thumb. So in these, we're going to use the front loop only. So not through the whole stitch like that. We want to just grab this front loop and do a single crochet. One. And do that through all four of these. Just the front loop. Boom, boom, boom. Three and four. There. Now our round stitch count is back up to 30. And there's our thumb. Our thumb is waiting until the rest of the mitten is done and then we will take care of him some more. So that was our round three. One, two, and then attaching this is technically round three because we did the thumb all by itself. Row four through 11, which is eight total rounds. We want to start in this mark stitch and single crochet all 30 of our stitches. There, I'm going to mark that one. There's my first stitch. Single crochet all the way around. 30 stitches for eight rounds. And I will meet you when I have my eight rounds done, which is right in here. Almost done with my round eight. 29, and there's number 30. Yay! Starting to look like a mitten. There's my thumb, and there's the body that's right here. Right here. Right here. So now we're going to reduce, we're going to start our reductions. 
so we can get it to go more like the top of a mitten goes. So you can see right in here. We're going to go like this. Just like that. Boom. Round it up a little bit. So this would be round 12. We're going to reduce, but we're not going to do two together. So we're going to do something that's a little bit better, I think. So we're going to take this down to 27 stitches. Single crochet the first nine. So there's number one. One. Two. Three. Four. This tenth stitch right here, we're going to skip him and do another set of nine. So let's just skip this stitch completely, jump to the next one and single crochet one and then keep going and do another set of nine. number nine and do that again. This tenth stitch here is not going to get worked at all. It is going to be skipped. Jump over that and do another set of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you can see there's still one stitch here. We will be skipping that one. So now we just reduced down to 27 by skipping those three stitches. And you can see by skipping we don't have the little cluster from a single crochet two together. And I like that look. Because here you can see, or you can't see, my reductions. It's just magic. Just magic. So the next round, which is round 13, we're going to do the same thing again. Remember to skip this one, skip that last stitch and go right to our marked stitch and single crochet. This time we're going to reduce down to 24 from our 27 that we just reduced to. So we're going to single crochet 8 and then do a skip. So there's one, this is number 2, 3, 4, Six, seven, and eight. The next, that ninth stitch right here, we're going to skip him, jump over that and do another set of eight. One, two, Skip that next stitch, just jump straight over and do another set of eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, which leaves us one unworked stitch at the very, very end, which is going to be skipped. So round 14 is the same idea. We're going to jump over this stitch, completely skip him, go back to our marked stitch, single crochet, move my marker, and this time our set is of seven, and then we're going to do a skip. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That eighth stitch, we're going to skip it completely jump over that and do another set of seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next stitch, jump over that and do another set of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's one more stitch. Jump over that last stitch. We're going to skip that one. 
We're going to do the same thing. One more reduction. We're going down to, that was just to take us to 21. Now we're going to go down to 18. So we're going to take out three more which means that's our first stitch. We want to do six this time. Five and six. And then we do our skip. And do that all the way around. Two, three, four, five, and six. And the next one is just completely skipped. Another set of six. Our single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, which leaves us one unworked stitch at the very end. We're going to jump over that. Go to the next stitch, our mark stitch, single crochet. We're going to reduce from 18 down to 15. So we're going to use that same idea. I'm going to single crochet five and then a skip. One, two, this is number three, four, and five. Skip the next stitch, another set of five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the stitch, another set of five. One, two, three, four, five. One stitch is unworked at the very end, which we will be skipping. And we're going to reduce from 15 to 12 one more time here, one more reduction. So our first marked stitch gets a single crochet. And we're going to move the stitch marker. And this time, I'm sure you have figured it out by now, we're going to do four stitches before our skip. So there's number two, number three, and number four. Skip that fifth stitch. Do another set of four. One, two, three, and four. Skip the next stitch. Do our last set of four. One, two, three, and four. One unworked stitch. So there we go. Now it looks like a mitten, except we have to close up the top and we have to close up our thumb. So we are going to skip over this last stitch here and I'm going to slip stitch into my marked stitch and finish this off with a long tail. We are going to cinch this closed. It doesn't have to be too long because we only have a few stitches. So I'm just going to go like this. Snip. That should be plenty for us. We're going to go like this. Find yourself a nice needle. Got my yarn needle right here. And I'm going to take that out. Let's tuck that in so we can grab it easily tuck in our tail. We're going to turn them inside out now. There, now we're inside out. We just have to close up this top, which is really simple. Just cinch it closed like a drawstring bag. We're just going to go back and forth through our last stitches so that we can cinch this closed. Just back and forth and we'll pull this tight in just a second. about made it all the way around so that I can pull this tight. Alright, so there our hole at the top. We're going to pull this tight and it will disappear. 
seal that nice and tight and secure this. Just finish this off a little bit so it doesn't come undone. You're not really wearing these mittens so it doesn't have to be crazy, crazy tight mega knot or anything. Just a little bit of there. That's about all we're going to need because it's not going to come undone. And snip. So the top is done. Now we need to do the thumb. I think this might be long enough. I'm going to give it a try. So now we just pull our thumb through. And remember, we're still inside out. We just need to close this up. So start at the bottom and just sew this closed any way you want to. I have just been going back and forth like this. It seemed to work very nicely on all of the other ones. As you can see, works very, very nicely. Just going back and forth like this. Do that to the top of the thumb. Now when I got to the top of the thumb, right here, whoopsie, get to the top of the thumb, I decided not to finish that off right there and do that on the other side and have an extra tail to weave in. So I'm just going to slip this right through here. Just get your needle all the way across to the top of that thumb, the very tippy top, so you don't have to finish off that little piece of yarn and pull through. And now we're ready to do the other side with the same little piece of yarn to finish this side. One less tail. So we're going to do the exact same thing all the way down. And I think this is probably going to do it. That'll be my last stitch. And I made it. I still have way more left. Yay! All right, you can finish that off. You can weave these in. I don't think anyone would ever notice if you didn't even finish these off in any way. So you can just snip this one snip. Because again, we're not wearing this. It's just decorative. Just weave this in. Doesn't need much. It's not being worn, so it's not going to come apart. Done. And one last one. This is your very first tail. You just need to weave that one in a little bit. Again, nothing fancy about this because it is not going to show. It is not being worn, so it is not going to come apart. snip and then we take our little guy take our mitten turn everything right side out all those other tails are hiding now we're not going to see them anymore and don't forget to go get your thumb I mean it's, it's tiny so it's going to be a little bit harder to do than a regular mitten done 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 and you can see this is the old first card I could find. Fits perfectly. So this is great for gift cards, for real green money, for anything tiny. Especially if you don't want it to get, go missing. You can hang it on the tree and people might not even notice. <gasps> There's a little present inside. So there we go. Make them in any colors that you want. Super easy, really fast can make a dozen of these today. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.